Captain's log, star date 2259.55. We're approaching an unknown vessel that I don't much like the look of, to be honest. We are receiving a signal, Captain. It is the Blurg. Uh, the Blurg. A vile and contemptuous race who delight in chaos. Anarchy, contemptuousness, and vileness. Have you ever seen someone make a judgment before all the facts are in? It may have been bias. They are trying to communicate, Captain. Shall I initiate translation? No need, machine. It's probably a declaration of war. Ready defense shields. And set phases to phased. Really phased. Bias is a preference or prejudice for or against a person, a group, an idea, or anything really. And you know what? We're all a little biased. From the time we're little, we start developing tastes and preferences for all sorts of things. Come on, sweetie, come on. From the people we like to hang out with to the food we like to eat. You're going to love Soylent Blue flavour. Thank you. One scoop, please. We're influenced by our families, our communities and our own experiences. We're also influenced by the media. For a yummy, nutritious treat, try Soylent Blue. With our special secret ingredient, we'll have you wanting more from the first taste. It's great tasting and great for the environment. Incoming debris proximity alert. Shields up. <laughs> Bias happens because our brains are kind of hardwired to take shortcuts, to use a limited amount of information to make assumptions and draw conclusions. Soylent blue, soylent blue, it's the treat for you. It's exciting, it's brand new, you'll never guess what's in it. Bias can even be useful in some situations because it helps us to make decisions quickly. <laughs> but it can also lead us to make the wrong decisions and to be unfairly prejudiced against people, <laughs> groups and ideas. What have you done, you horrible blurg? And that's why it's important to be able to recognise bias in our own attitudes and in the media. Coming up tonight, exclusive. Bored blurg teenagers on a crime rampage. Authorities powerless to stop them. They're out of control. I'm so angry that they're getting away with it. The blurg! Blurg, 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 blurg! What do you got to say for yourself, you shunky blurg? Blurg, 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 blurg. Do you think the blurgs could actually bring about the end of mankind? Well, you see... Blurg, the blurg, alien menace blurg, blurg. on our streets. Blurg, 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 blurg. Exclusive. Blurg, 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 blurg. Tune in tonight. Media bias can have a big blurg. impact, and it can exist for a number of different reasons. Blurg. Sir, we're expecting very high ratings for our latest piece on blurg teenagers. 
Excellent, underling. If we keep the humans focused on the Blurgs, they'll never suspect our true plan for world domination. <laughs> yes, sir. Sometimes media bias is a deliberate attempt by organisations, individuals or governments to influence the way people think or the way they vote. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not always about world domination. Sometimes bias is about money and commercial pressures. It's obvious. How are you? I'm well, I'm oh, well. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Are you ready to go? I am. I are you ready? Yep. Yep. Okay. And three, two, one, rolling. I'm here with world-famous socialite, philanthropist and, of course, the creator of everybody's favourite food substitute, Soylent Blue. Mr. Media organisations often need to sell ads to make money. Thank you, Tiffany. It's a real pleasure to be here with you today at Soylent Blue. We're on a mission to fight galactic warming and save the world with the help of our secret ingredient. Sounds wonderful and delicious. Speaking of which, I don't suppose you'd like to tell us any more about that secret ingredient of yours? No. But, of course, the real secret... Sometimes journalists will face pressure to keep sponsors happy Happiness. by portraying them in a positive light or by ignoring negative stories about the businesses that pay the bills. Silent Blue is made of people! Help! Help! Silent Blue is made of people! Let me go! Turn the camera off. Shall we do another take? Here at Silent Blue, we like to put people first. We put people into everything that we do. Not literally, of course. <laughs> that, that would be silly. As we always say here at Solid Blue, it's definitely not people. Sometimes media organisations are biased simply because they're trying to boost ratings. The explosion seems to be the result of some kind of moon shooting a laser at the planet. It's why they often choose stories that are exciting In other news, or scandalous. The Minister of Foreign Affairs has admitted to claiming intergalactic travel expenses for his blurg mistress. It's also why they sometimes deliberately back a popular political view. OK, viewers, I'm getting sick and tired of these blurg apologists. These aliens... Oh, I love this show. You see, we humans have a powerful urge to be right. It's called confirmation bias, and it makes us seek out information that proves what we already think. We need to stand up for human values. Am I right? Am I right? You sure are. That's what I always say. I didn't get a say in... Blurk, 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 blurk. Media organisations know that by appealing to the existing bias of their audience, they're making their audience happy and encouraging them to keep watching. Ooh, time to go. Oh, Captain, where have you been? We have a code topaz situation here. <clears throat> huh? Oh. Sorry, first, I was having some executive time. So, how do you spot bias? Well, sometimes it's obvious, but not always. Bias can be subtle. Give me a status report. Well, I don't think we should shoot. I don't think they're actually... First, you're fired. Oh, find me someone who'll agree with me. It could be that a certain group of people or a certain type of story isn't represented as much in the media, or they're represented differently. <laughs> 
there can also be bias in the selection of stories, which ones are told and which ones are left out. And there can be bias in the way a story is told, in the choice of pictures or words. Look at that expression. Pure malice. Captain, the blurg do not have facial expressions. They always look like that. Quiet talking machine. I think you're supposed to call it an android. My name is Kevin. Debris proximity alert. Fire on my signal. Blurk, 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 blurk. But when you're looking for bias in the media, it's really important to remember that just because you disagree with something, that doesn't necessarily mean it's biased. Captain, the blurg are sending us some sort of signal. What are you, some kind of pro blurg spy? I am working on the translation software. In fact, sometimes the real reason we think something is biased is because we're biased ourselves. Three, two... Please acknowledge. Greetings, fellow travellers. It is so nice to see you here in the void of space. What do you want, Blurg? We would like to share something with you. To show our friendship, we are sending you a traditional blurb greeting. The signal, Captain. It's... It's... music. Let us forget our differences yeah, yeah, and yeah. boogie together. Yes, let's dance. It's always worth stepping back and taking a minute to try to see things from another point of view. Recognising and challenging bias isn't always easy, but it can help us to seek out new truths, explore different points of view and boldly learn about the world around us. <laughs>